don't see you there. How long have you been staying here? Well, since you're here, I'm very stoked to have you here with me and share with you my story and take this opportunity to tell you my journey as, as a businessman. I want to also break down some of the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat that came with my career path, my personal choices, and my academic decisions. This guy he has seven languages and one of the smoothest piano players I've ever heard. Make some noise! Piano man! Er, morning star! It all began way before I was born and got chosen for a higher purpose to make th a difference in the world. Before I could begin to clearly understand anything, I always knew that I was meant for something greater than myself. I was always certain about my purpose and that was to make the world better somehow. I believe in God and I feel like I was chosen by Him for something special that I had to figure out and accomplish on my own. That is exactly why he bestowed a power upon me because there is something that this world is missing and I am the one to give it and deliver that change. I love knowing that fact because when things got rough for me, I held on to that thought and that was the assurance that I needed to know that everything would be better in, in the times to come. It felt like yesterday I was in college and being unsure about the little thing in life and look at me now. I am a grown man with responsibilities. As a kid, I never thought I would get to be where I am now nor experience that. Meaning, I thought I was going to stay a kid forever or I would be a kid for at least a little bit longer. As you can see, things did not turn out like that. I am way past that stage in my life and I have the and I have to say the journey to become one of the most successful businessmen in this world was not easy. Four years ago, at the age of 24 in May 2024, I launched one of my businesses as an entrepreneur and future chief executive officer of a massive and successful conglomerate. Looking back, when I think about it, a lot of my success came from a simple course I took in college called New Student Experience. I have to give credit to that course because what's more interesting is the fact that I was so reluctant to take this course at first because I thought it would be worthless, a waste of time and money. It turned out to be the complete opposite and I got my mind blown. I fell in love with it and it turned out to be my favorite course I took during my two years at Valencia. I have to tell you, I learned so much about my life, myself, etc. The class helped me find my actual and thoughtful purpose in life, my strength, talents, knowledge, and skills. Even though I already knew what my purpose was, it, this class really helped me break it down based on my values, interests, and talents and get it out there in the open and have it part of reality. That is how I figured out my purpose was to make the world my home through my talents of empathy and positivity by always listening and putting everyone else's needs and satisfaction first. What I like about that is the fact that the assignment helped me align my purpose with my career goal. I clearly remember doing that assignment nine years ago and at that time I wrote my career goal is to be a successful businessman and reach self-actualization and Maslow's hierarchy of needs. As I grew up and started to be more mature and getting more understanding, I realized everyone is going through something, whether it is physically, emotionally, spiritually, which causes people to have emotional anguish. As a young boy and man, I always wanted to bring a smile on people and make them feel like that someone care and is there to listen to what they have to say. That is how I came up with the idea of harmony. That is a word I have used a lot for the past years because I love sharing my harmony and passing it on among others. Because my top two greatest strengths are positivity and strategy, I exceeding in sharing that harmony toward other people and just make their day. That is simply how one of many businesses idea came in my head. I did not want to stop there. So a few months later, at the beginning of the year 2025, I wanted to take my idea to the next step by taking it everywhere around the world and turning my business into a franchise. At that time, that meant everything to me because my goal was to achieve my idea of self-actualization 
by May 28th of this year, 2028, at the age of 28. Ever since my business were successful, I have been making the world my home a quarter note and tempo at a time. I have traveled the world, that's how I pick up four more languages, meet new people, get new experience, and just get out of my comfort zone to send dopamine into my brain. Being self-actualized means that I am living my best life to the fullest, being at a point where I have done and achieved everything and every goals I have ever had and wanted to accomplish. I achieved this by using my artistic interest area and putting it in practice when I was starting my business. That gave me the success I needed to experience the world for its full beauty and getting to meet people individually. I got to a place where I got so comfortable with anyone no matter who, where or when, I feel safe anywhere I am. I use my empathy Clifton strength skills to see the world through their eyes. I am loving life right now and I am so grateful to have the chance to be an advocate and example for other people, young kids, entrepreneurs and anyone. I couldn't ask for anything more. I knew I had a hot idea. So I decided to get that logo trademark to protect my IP and put it on t-shirts and other items of clothing. It was so rewarding to see how much utility and satisfaction on people's face every time they purchased my brain. Due to the fact my business was doing so well, I did not want to stay in one business. I also went into the cosmetic business and there i would sell all things cosmetic i also did other businesses as well some worked and some did not i always knew from the start that i wanted my clothing company to be accessible to everyone so i partnered with e-commerce company named closetsonline.com and from there my business started taking off exponentially I experienced so many marginal benefit with that choice. I was happy because I got to sit down with an accountant friend of mine named Gerda Aviscad, who was able to guide me and help me do a SWOT analysis on that business decision nine years ago in the fall of 2019. I had the chance to interview her and from the interview, I learned so much about accounting and business and what it takes to be good at it and how having a strong team and people to guide me or anyone in the business field is essential. After hearing that, I was able to get the right people to help me figure things out when any time I got stuck and needed a second opinion. After experiencing some failures, I work hard on giving my business a great value proposition and put on the extra effort to get people to notice what I am trying what I was trying to sell to satisfy their wants and need. Before I could get all of that su success, I took the steps that a lot of people try to avoid and hate. I went to school and got my business specialist certificate at Valencia and went on to UCF to get my bachelor's degree in business management. As I look back, I do not regret any of those decisions I made academically and everything I have done. Every choices that I have made have led me here. I have learned a lot. By going to school, I got the book knowledge that I needed which allowed me to put everything learned and practice when the time came. I can assure you, I was more knowledgeable in accounting, marketing, management, public speaking, you name it, than some of the other people I was competing against. That is all, thing to go, all thanks to going to school, having to sacrifice some fun, and the many notes I took to ensure that I retained the knowledge. That helped better prepare me for what was to come. I was able to be strategic when it came to decision making. Another thing that di differentiated me from others and my competition is the fact that no matter what I was no matter what, I was able to remain emotional intelligent and just try to keep learning and not repeat my mistakes. There were times when I had to make harsh de decisions that made me look bad. I had to make these decisions for the betterment of my companies and my employees. Anytime I had an empl em any employees who were energy drainers, I fired them on the spot because I did not want them to affect my other employees' work and suck the life and energy out of them. By doing that, people were always giving their best and work to their best of their ability. In my companies, my top priority is making sure everyone is having a good time and fun. 
That is why I decided to randomly throw parties and have everyone do something eccentric and out of the ordinary. And one of my parties, I remember I told every employees to wear their undergarments over their clothing. I was very surprised to see how many people were willing to embarrass themselves. But all in all, it was so much fun. We all had a good time and it felt great because we had a blast and it was an experience that no one experienced anywhere else. Some other times, I would, get, I would just get anyone and everyone to come and relax with me while I do a little serenade and a little seance on the piano, as well as anyone else who wanted to perform. As a way to motivate my employees, I would challenge anyone that does something significant for the company, whether that is by increasing turnover inventory or sales, etc. Whoever does the best job would win a gold trophy. The reward people seemed to love the most was the stole because they could easily wear it with pride and show off among the other employees. That motivated my workers to work harder to get that recognition. There was this girl named Lucida who is my rock because she has helped me so much and she was the winner for so many of the stole because of her great work ethic and dedication. It was great to see everyone trying to beat her the years after. Lucida is such an amazing worker and an amazing person in general and that shows. She works hard and wins the stole and gets to show up among all the other employees and make them jealous. That was a perfect and great way to get everyone on board. The thing I have learned about people is the fact that they are willing to do something as long as they have a good reason to. As long as it matches with their values, belief, and attitude. By giving my employees something worth fighting and working for to get that special recognition, however small it is, it made a big and huge difference. Because my employees got the motivation to work harder, which in return is great for my company and everyone as a whole. I can't express it enough how much I have been enjoying myself. That is how I know I made the right career path. I have always knew that as well because all the courses I took in high school and college regarding business, I always loved all of them and never got born to learn about business. I love the fact that there is always something to learn because things are always changing and business is never constant. So it is always up to us to pay close attention to the next big idea and try to make it our own. And I save the best for last. One of the best reward and fulfillment being a CEO has done for me is the fact that I can give back to the people who has helped me get to where I am. What is my family, friends, target market, and just people in need in general? I have had the chance to impact so many lives and just seeing the smile in people's face and give them that harmony by making a difference and doing something significant and good is in itself the best fulfillment and reward ever. That is the number one way I reach my idea of self-actualization. And I would never ever trade that for anything in my life. I love this life so much, I would not trade this life for anything or anyone. So for those of you who are looking or thinking about being an entrepreneur or a CEO, or coming into the business field, if there is one thing that facilitated my success is the fact that I had a sense of direction and destination. And the way you can do that is by having goals and objective because goals is the perfect way to increase the dopamine in our mind and brain, which help us tackle the bigger goals we have in life. So we can get ready to achieve all this big accomplishment we were trying to accomplish so start setting goals and objectives for yourself and you will have all of the success you seek in life